Hey guys, this is Steli after with Closeout. Today I want to talk about strategies and things that you can do to decrease your buying cycle. Cut out a few days, weeks, potentially even months from the time that you interact with the prospect to the time where they actually buy. Uh, this morning I was in a webinar where uh, one of the participants knew exactly the average days it took them from first contact with the prospect all the way to closing them. And it was the, it was, I think, 113 days. And he asked me, Stelly, what can I do to decrease the amount of days? I'm selling very large contracts that are worth, you know, tens and tens and sometimes hundreds of thousands of dollars. And I'm selling to slow moving organizations. So 113 days seems like the best we can do organically. Do you have any new ideas for us in order to creatively decrease the time to close? So here's what I told him, and I thought it would be interesting for you guys as well. I wanted to share with everybody. So the there's two things, two basic things uh, that you can do to s find out if you can actually decrease the time to close, especially when you work with like enterprise level clients. Number one is to actually truly understand the buying cycle. You need to understand what's going to be the buying journey, what are all the steps that it's going to take, all the stakeholders that are going to be involved, everything that needs to be accomplished from our from initial interest all the way to actually signing the contract and wiring the money. To do that, what you want to do is you actually want to ask the simple question early on, and I've talked about this before, you want to ask the question, what is it going to take for you guys to buy? What are all the steps that we're going to have to take together to make you guys become a customer of us? Uh, of our product. And then when they tell you, well, we'll have to talk to this department and that, and I have to talk to this and this stakeholder, you don't just go, sure, sounds good. No, you actually ask, okay, once you've done these three, four things that you described, are we in business or do we still have things to do? And you allow them to guide you through the virtual close. They're going to paint you a, a virtual roadmap of all the steps until they can tell you, yeah, once that step is accomplished, we are buying from you. So now that you have the knowledge of what are all the steps, what you want to do is you want to try to figure out if you can actually parallelize certain processes and run them in parallel instead of taking them sequentially one step at a time. And what do I mean by that? Just to give you an example, a lot of times what happens is that once you go through all the stakeholder departments and they all green light you, typically in large organizations, you might have to now go through a department like procurement that specializes on purchasing from outside vendors. You have to go through all their steps uh, to get approved as a vendor. And once you go through procurement, a lot of times you actually still have to go through legal and go through all the legal steps, and all the contracting steps and the back and forth between your legal department and their legal department until the contracts get approved by legal. Why wait till the end of the buying cycle to go through and be stopped and slowed down by departments like procurement and legal. There's no reason for you to wait all the way until the, the stakeholders say they want to buy. You can actually run these processes in parallel. So here's how you do it. You talk to the prospect and you say, you know what, it seems like our, after our initial call that this would be a great fit and this is exciting. Now we know that we're going to have to take all these different steps, talk to all these different departments and make sure that the entire organization is on board and you guys are ready to rock and roll. Now, we've had a really good experiences. Once we actually identify that somebody is a great fit, most of the time we're going to be able to make the deal happen. We're going to work with you and we're going to make it happen. And in order to make it happen even smoother and faster, what we would appreciate is if you could put us in touch with your procurement and your legal department now so we can start that process in parallel. So by the time that we have approval from all the important stakeholders, we're ready to rock and roll and we're not going to be slowed down by any things that need to be done through procurement and legal. Does that sound fair? Nine out of 10 times people will say, yeah, that sounds actually like a really good idea. And they're gonna put you in touch with procurement and then with legal, and you can start the process even ahead of the final agreements. You can, you know, start the vendor, you know, the, the vendor process that procurement has to be approved from them. And you can start the legal process and sending the contracts. You don't have to have the dollar amounts in there, but you can get started with sending them your standard contracts and see if it's gonna get approved by legal or not. So while you are actually still selling the different, the main stakeholder departments on buying your solution, you're going through and you're getting approved through vendors, you're getting approved through legal. So the moment they say yes, you're ready to rock and roll. And that alone can save you 
a month, two months, significant amount of time and a lot of frustrations. It's so frustrating when you're just, you see the finish line in front of you and get green lights from everybody and then, you know, procurement and then legal stop dragging you down and slowing you down and making this the final 20% really painful and slow because they have no sense of urgency. It's not really in their best interest to move fast but it's in yours and it's in the, the, the company's best interest, especially the department and the stakeholder and champions that wanted to buy your solution. So um, a way to decrease your, the time to close, especially when you do enterprise sales, is to run certain processes in parallel. There's multiple stakeholders. Don't go through the steps sequentially, talking to one stakeholder, then to the next, then to the next department, then through procurement then through legal no see if you can run two or three or four of these things in parallel to speed things up try it out and see if you can go from 113 days down to 90 down to 70 every single day day that you can save in your selling cycle and in their buying cycle is going to make their life better get them more value as well as make you more profitable uh more fast growing business so go out there and get them and paralyze the buying process